Right, it's um, it's a Sunday and I'm going to do some work. And all I've been hearing past my house is bikers going on their merry way having a nice Sunday jaunt and I'm off to do a bit of work. Um, talking of work, I'm stepping up my... Uh, well, I'm a... I would say I'm a web designer by, by job, but it's not really the sum of the things I do. Um, I, I suppose I, I find digital solutions for things. And obviously web design is one of those solutions, but there are many. I think in the, in the current world we live in, you can't just offer somebody web design. You've got to kind of go into their business and say, right, well, we could do a couple of things differently and we could use digital to do them and you would find um, a good return on investment. So that's roughly what I do. So I, I make things better with digital. Um, and that drew me to, um, when I got into biking and finding out where, um, you know, where I could go to get my um, bacon butty and cup of tea fix, you kind of look at, um, you, do a, you do a quick search for, you know, biker friendly cafes and stuff. And the first thing you come to is the biker guide. And, right, I'm going to be totally honest now, I'm not, you know, I'm not having a go, but it, it will seem like I'm having a go. When I first looked at the biker guide, I thought, maybe this is something that was built ten years ago and hasn't been updated since, and this, you know, it's not, you know, it's not a viable thing to do because nobody uses it. Um, and then I suddenly realised that that was it. That, that was, you know, there was, there was a an active blog and an active Facebook and it was all kind of recent and I thought blimey the the construction of the website the the, the simple fact that it was doing um, it was showing people where things were in the country and didn't have a map I just thought that that can't be that can't be right it just doesn't you know in in, in today's in today's world you can't be showing people where things are and then just giving them a postcode of, you know, or, or getting them to look at the, the company's website or something. You know, I just thought, well, you know, I could do better than that in my sleep. Um, and that's where uh, UKBikers.org was formed. I thought, well, let, let me have a look if I can do this any better. Um, so I produced a website that has, I suppose, its standard piece of functionality is <coughs> that you get um, you upload an item and the, the the categories are growing sort of you know cafe it started off with cafes and stuff and pubs and then it grew to you know sort of servicing and parts and gear and um, touring and all that kind of stuff um, and and the concept of what I want to do is if if you look at ukbikers.org on the right hand side, you'll see um, you'll see some adverts, and they're they're, they're Google ads. <coughs> don't don't ever go at me if they if they look a bit weird. They're they're driven by your browsing history, so you know take from it what you will. Um, it's nothing to do with the site. It's it's actually your browsing history. It's what it's what Google thinks you're interested in. So don't blame me. Um, yeah, that that's that's what I'm intending is the thing that's going to pay the upkeep for the site I, I you know I, I don't need paying to do it um, but obviously it's hosting now hosting isn't massive um, you know uh, and, and so, so that's the idea is is to have the resource that I, I get it polished enough so that anyone can um, fucking people I, oh. There are times in life where you think, I'm going to do a vlog, and I'm going to try my hardest not to swear, because everyone swears, and then people do that. Oh, I just... I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm kind of beyond the... beyond the getting annoyed. I'm, I, and I go, I go all the way to wanting to understand what drives you to do that what drives you to think that that's okay oh, not very biker friendly so yeah so that's what UK bikers is all about it's giving people the ability to to post 
and if you know and if they want to to review the location where they've gone to but more importantly it shows you whereabouts in the country it, it is so what so one of the pages i've created is um is a page called near me and when you click on that it shows you your location i think out to about 100 miles so it shows you all the things that are around you in in 100 miles and and all the other things are um have got geolocation turned on so if you like went for the say the servicing category you'd um you'd see just the servicing stuff and it'd be pinpointed to your location so within within your location and the, the only thing i'm missing now is getting more people involved that that's the only thing that i that i need to do um i, I think i think the fact that it's free to register you register a business is putting people off i don't know it, it, if that if that's if that's the case i think it's yeah, I think people think it's too free. There must be a con. But like I say, I'm I'm hoping it's going to pay for itself with uh, with Google Ads. Anyway, yeah, ukbikers.org. Have a look at it. Um, feel free to list your favourite place. But before you list your favourite place, do me a favour and search for it. Make sure it's not there. You you don't know how many times somebody has told me about Lumi's. It's every single time I do this kind of stuff. People say, have you have you got Lumis? They're, they're one of the best. And it's like, yes, I've got Lumis. You're the 18th person to say, have you got Lumis? They're one of the best. Anyway, so that's my, uh, my morning's work done. Rather a nice morning's work. Um, it's in the... Uh, Salisbury Art Centre, which used to be a church, so it's a big building with, you know, sort of um, stained glass everywhere. But it's um, it's being used for a purpose that I agree with slightly more than what you normally use a church for. But don't really want to get into that, do we? Yeah. Um, so back to the main point of this blog, and that's the UKBikers.org. Is it .org? Yeah, ukbikers.org website. Um, hopefully. So, obviously, um, if you want to add a, a biker-friendly location, feel free. Um, but like I said, there's no, there's no cost to it. And, and I think that what that does as well is that what, what I find a bit weird with the other ones is that if you're paying for advertisement, then potentially your if somebody reviews your location and says it's rubbish if you've paid for that advertisement you might i think it leaves the people who create the site in a bit of a sticky situation because they've paid for it whereas what i'm doing it's no one pays for anything so the the, the person posting the location doesn't pay for it so that it could be the person who owns it but it could also be just a you know just your average you know, your average biker that likes somewhere. Um, so they could they could do it as well. And um, you're, you're free to review it as independently as you want to. And because the person hasn't paid for it, you know, it's not down to them. I, I, in fact, I'd prefer that if you... Yeah, I prefer that it's a, it's a user posting it. You know, and I have done in the past when somebody said, can you post my pub or my cafe or something? I've looked at their Facebook page, looked at their website and said, well, I don't, I don't actually see any bikers at your location. So I'm not, you know, I'm not too sure. So I think that's what I'm pushing. And that's allows, allow, the fact that it's free allows me to be kind of picky. So yeah, if you, uh, if you know of anywhere, get to uh, ukbikers.org and, and add somewhere.